Lucas Media. About to play this quick video from y'all from Steven Jackson on Shakur Stevenson. Alright, man, my people been watching the fight. I'm sure y'all can hear it. That's a good fight. The obstacle of the fight is to win. Shakur, you won that fight. Don't nobody want to see that, bro. I'm rooting for you. I want you to have all the success in the world. Don't nobody want to watch that, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, you can't be hit. I ain't gonna lie. You one of the coldest motherfuckers with dodging punches. I give you that. Motherfucker cannot hit you at all. That's a that's a fucking skill that is hard to perfect. But nobody want to watch that. You won. We wanted you to win. I was rooting for you. But I wouldn't watch that again. That damn show ain't gonna pay per view that boy. Something, come on, bro. We can't do that. All right? We fuck with you, but we ain't paying for that next go round. Hey, man, my people been watching the. So that was just. A former NBA player, Steven Jackson's thoughts, and you know Steven Jackson did the Up and Smoke podcast, all the smoke, po- all the smoke podcast. I'm tripping Up and Smoke, but I mean, even a lot, a lot of people have been saying it was a snooze fest. I mean, it just it was a waste of time, money. I mean, well, ESPN. It was on ESPN Plus, and I already had a subscription, but I text several people who are fans of the sport. Everybody was already tired, especially on the East Coast. And for you to go out there and put on a snooze fest, don't nobody want to see that. And you're right. The object is to win and to get hit and not get hit. But when you don't put on an entertaining fight... The fans, especially the casual fans, are not going to support it. And Shakur got to go back to the drawing boards and and try to figure out how to how to still be entertaining when you're fighting that style of a fighter that he fought. And it was a tough matchup. I knew it was going to be a tough matchup from the from the gate. Uh, Both fighters showed great footwork. Uh, uh, Los Santos he's he's a very crafty fighter but like I said neither one of them wanted to do anything rumors are Shakur was hurt but he's not making no excuses and shout out to him for that but I mean it was just a bad performance Tyson Fury had recently had a bad performance Shakur Stevenson and I've had people even in my comment section coming at me because I was taking up for Devin Haney and saying that he offered that man 25% that's a hell of a deal and Shakur Stevens said he ain't taking that. And people was in my comments, oh, he he deserves that. Uh, he don't he deserved more than 25%. Does he, especially after last night? His stock dropped after last night. He's really not gonna get 25% now. I mean, I guess he the WBC champion now, and I I don't know, but it's Shakur, Shakur, man, you gotta stop chasing Devin Haney, man, and entertain the fans. You entertain the fans, bro. Everything else will come. But you got to... I mean, you're not going to get hit. Your hands as fast as lightning. We got it, but you, you got to let your hands go, man. You know, like I said in my previous video this morning, everybody was booing because it was just... It was hard to watch. And then it was already late. You got people staying up on a Thursday night. A Thursday night. It's not even a weekend like how most fights are. Even on a Friday. And I'm sure kids was up, people got work, school, or whatever. And you put on a snooze fest? But I'm still going to support Shakur. I mean, you know, I'm just, you know, as a boxing fan and somebody who they people, some people now saying to me, we got to be, got to keep it real over here. But I just wanted to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.